站在镜头前面握手或是实力拍打，就算对方远在地球的另一端，也感受得到。有英国科学家利用六 G 传送技术，人跟人不用见面就能互动。In 5G, we can transmit three-dimensional, 360-degree virtual reality of any object, a person. Now, what is not possible in 5G to do is to have interaction, interactions between virtual reality of people, objects, robots, and so on and so on. And that is enabled in what we call 6G. 就算是身在不同的地方，握手、拥抱都不是问题。不像5 G 技术，人跟人只能隔着屏幕互动。六 G 俨然成为 VR 或是 AR 的延伸，连看医生都不用亲自到医院就能完成。In addition to interactivity, we are adding these other human senses, and that at any point you can interact with your GP. Your GP could appear in your house. Touch your hand, feel your temperature, shake your hands, as if you are in a GP place and seeing him in a face-to-face. 气味、温度的感官互联都能透过虚拟的方式感受。六 G 网络等于搭起虚拟跟现实世界的桥梁。那么电影中的桥段，例如植入到人体中的电子设备，有可能实现吗 ？I believe in 6G. We still have a kind of mobile phone. But it will be more wearables, things that people wear, and it is invisible. 五 G 还没有普及，六 G 就已经提上日程。目前传出美国跟中国已经砸大钱研发六 G 技术，但是为了实现六 G 沉浸式的感官互联愿景，无论是软硬体技术，包括远端医疗等通讯要求，研发门槛极高。六 G 在实物上还有许多问题未解。关于新闻，陈范宁综合报道。日韩焦点全面掌握，东亚局势全球关注，新时代的区域竞合，台湾 in or out。每周四晚间九点，环宇看东亚，带您探索东亚震惊脉动。